medium. Three? Half up. Yep. No, wait. Now I'm saying medium. <laughs> I'm, like, hey, yeah. I'm like, you can One do this. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. We are currently charging my phone, so if you're wondering <laughs> yes, about the cord. I'm going to be showing you three half-up braid hairstyles that are great if you have medium short hair. Yeah. If you have long hair, that works too, but yeah. these styles do work for short hair as well. <laughs> because I've noticed with a lot of braid styles, mm -hmm. I have all the pictures you see have super long yeah. extensions. Your hair is way thicker yeah, than hair real comes hair down to their waist. and way longer. So I was asking Shayla what were some styles that we can do with my just hair. Just yeah. my hair. I'm a short hair girl too, so yeah. yeah. So she knows what's up. <laughs> we did like a little twist into like a pull through braid. Super easy. And then the second one, two Dutch braids, like pinned back. The third hairstyle is this one right here. And it's the two fish styles into a messy bun, which is super cute. I feel like this can be like, you know, casual or you can dress it up. Mm -hmm. So all these styles are fairly easy, I feel. Yeah. They were quick too. Like mm. how long do you think each one took us? Oh, like. like 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. And if you're doing it on yourself, maybe like 20? 20, yeah. The first hairstyle I'm gonna show you how to do today will be the pull through braid. So I'm gonna grab a section of hair from each side of Julie's face and then tie it together. Once I've tied it together, I'm actually gonna flip it inside itself. This is called a topsy tail. Once I've done that, I'm gonna pin up the section I just tied off out of my way and grab a new section underneath it and tie that off with an elastic. Now splitting the first section in two, I'm gonna put the last one through the middle and tie that underneath. I pinned it up out of the way, as you can see, just to make it easier for yourself. Now you're left with two tied off sections and now that that's done, I'm gonna just pull out the hair to create a bit of volume and texture. This is the process of a pull through braid, so just continue these steps until you've finished the length of her hair. Play songs on the radio too loud. This could be We are at a really cute Airbnb. Power cord was not long enough to, oh hey. Do you want to be in the vlog? What, what's your Instagram? We can link it. Right there. Oh, the power cord was too short to mm -hmm. curl my hair. So I've had to move to the kitchen. Getting close. We should take a pick, baby strike a pose. The second look we're going to do today is the two Dutch braids on one side of Julie's face. So to start with, I'm going to section out a little bit of hair at the front just to frame her face. And then I'm going to start doing a Dutch braid on the highest part of her head on the side. I'm going to pull out this braid as well just to give it thickness and texture, just to give it the illusion that it's a little thicker than it is. Now that first one is done, we're going to continue with the second Dutch braid, which will be underneath that one. So do the exact same thing, braid it to the end, and don't forget to pull it out. Now these curls are still in from when I just curled Jilly's hair, so I'm just going to get my little comb and tease them up slightly to give them more of a messy, wild texture. I've also pinned these two braids underneath some of Jilly's hair as I don't want them showing. I wanna push all the, limits with you right now. the final hairstyle I'm showing you is the two fishtails into the bun. Start this one off with parting her hair down the center and starting a fishtail on one side of her head. Just like the other braids I've done with you, of course, I'm gonna pull them out to give them texture and add it to that bohemian look that I love. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. So in the end, we're left with two Dutch fishtails. And now I'm gonna pull them back to the back of Julie's head and literally use a little tiny elastic and turn it into a messy bun. 
there's not many rules about this one you can just kind of like create it as you go you know classic messy bun So if you guys don't already follow Shayla, you definitely need to. Oh, her hair page is right here. Her personal page is right here. This is just a little glimpse of the mad skills of Shayla. So if you want to watch more tutorials and see some more styles, you should check out her YouTube. Also linked below. You can give a little stool. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Yay. And don't forget to like and subscribe, Woo. as usual, to both of our channels. Hopefully, we'll get to collaborate again. Yeah, definitely. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.